Hi, this is Phil Shapiro in Tacoma Park. I wanted to pass along a cool little tip about how you can specify the colors in your LibreOffice drawing, that what they call the RGB colors, which is three separate numbers. So if you see a very pretty color someplace on the web, you can take that color and put it into your own drawings and create your own graphics with the same color that you like. So I came across this really nice graphics by Todd Findlay. Todd Finley over here, he is an Edutopia blogger and a professor and a book author. And I love reading his tweets and he has this really nice graphics that I came across that he tweeted out. And it's like a light, light kind of a tan. I'd like to use that color in my own graphics that I make. Now, I could send this graphics to some websites that give me the RGB color numbers, but websites, they come and go. So instead of using a web service, which is less permanent, let me use something, a tool that's more permanent. I'm going to use the GIMP. GNU Image Manipulation Program. That's a free program that comes installed with Linux on many Linux distributions and it's equivalent to Photoshop. And so over here I have GIMP already loaded and what we're going to do over here in GIMP is come down over here. We're looking for the eyedropper. Look how easy this is. Uh, I come over here to the foreground and background colors in the toolbox. This little rectangle here is called the toolbox. It's on the left side of the GIMP screen. I click on the foreground and background colors and then I'm looking for that eyedropper icon. I click on it and it says click the eyedropper then click a color anywhere on your screen to select that color. So I click the eyedropper and I just come over here and I click here. Boom. Check this out. Isn't this neat? Then I have RGB. The RGB colors 230, 214 and 178. Now, I'd like to put that into my LibreOffice drawing program. LibreOffice drawing is a very simple drawing program. I love it. And um, I have it loaded and hiding behind here. Isn't that sneaky of me? I have it hiding. Here's LibreOffice drawing. I have it ready to go. And I'm going to make just a little rectangle here. Here's a blue rectangle. And now I'd like to change the fill color to the RGB color, the color value from that graphic. So I come over here under fill and I come over here, I click on the menu and I go down to custom color. And over here, I'm going to put in 230, 230, tab 214. Oopsie. Let me get this correct. 230, tab 214, tab 178. And then I click OK. Isn't that neat? So now I have that same color. I, I, I kind of did a copy and paste in some ways. I, um, so that was over here. And you notice I have a blue uh, border color. So let me change the, the line color to the same thing. And I come down here to custom color. I'm going to change the line color to that same values, 230, 214, and 178. I could also write down the numbers. I like to try and memorize them. And here it is. So now I, that both the line border and the fill color is this gorgeous tan. And I could use that in creating whatever graphics I want to create. I can use the same kind of trick to get the color value of this text here. So if I want the text color value, I click on the eyedropper and I come right on top of some of the text here. I put the eyedropper right in a click. And then it's going to give me this color right here, which is a different RGB. It's down here, 125, 103, and 54. So isn't that neat? Now, I was curious, can I use the same beautiful color in my LibreOffice presentation programs? Wouldn't it be nice to have that as a background? So I went, I did some exploration. Check this out. The answer is both yes and no. I can come over to presentations. And over here, if I, f I want to change the background color to that, that really nice color. So I go to format the page. That's where the background color is going to be. And I say background color. But look, it doesn't give me any custom color capabilities. There's no custom colors. So maybe the people who make LibreOffice, maybe they could add in a custom color button right here. That would be really nice. But instead of doing that custom color for the background, I could cheat. 
I could cheat just a little bit. Shh, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. I can come over here and I'm going to just use the drawing. There's a drawing tool, very similar, almost identical to the drawing tool in LibreOffice Drawing. And I can make this blue rectangle that goes across the whole screen, right like so. Scoot it over a little bit. And now, here's the fill color right down here. And I can go to fill color and say that same kind of trick. 230, 214, 178. And look, I now have that as this is a drawing object in my presentation. And so I haven't changed the background. I have to put this into every single one of my slides. So that takes a little bit extra work, but it is possible to do it. And I wanted to show you that just for those people who love LibreOffice. I, lib I love LibreOffice. It's totally free. I use it for lots of different kinds of projects. And the drawing program, the drawing program reminds me of Apple Works Draw from like 1994. It used to ship with every Mac. It was so simple, little drawing, vector graphics drawing program. Apple Works. I love you, Apple Works. But anyway, um, that software is no longer with us. We shouldn't, we should get over it. We should just get over it. And LibreOffice is so nice. So I'd like to thank all the people making LibreOffice. And I'd like to thank the nice people who make Simple Screen Recorder. Uh, Martin, I think is his name. It's Simple Screen Recorder is a screen casting software I'm using. It's totally free, very high quality. I love it. And then I'm using this little um, webcam software called Camoso. You might also use uh, Cheese, C-H-E-E-S-E. -E -E. Cheese is another webcam, little program. And I have a Logitech webcam. And I'm recording my audio to my Olympus Digital Audio Recorder. So this is Phil Shapiro over and out. I hope this tip was helpful.